I transform everyday insects into supermodels. People have called me weird for this. I've been collecting bugs, photographing them, and preserving them into a display. One day, a very beautiful beetle flew into my house. I caught it in a cup and took a very close look at it. By the way, this is a fake beetle. I tried getting some macro close-up shots, but it kept moving and I couldn't capture anything nice through the cup. Then, I was inspired by entomologists who preserve insects for further studies. I thought, let's give it a try. Thanks to Insect Hunter YouTube channel, I learned the freezer method. After collecting my specimen and neutralizing it in the freezer, I take it out and pin it to make it look lively. I was very anxious when I first started because I was very afraid that I would damage the specimen. Sadly, I broke one antenna while I was transporting it and I broke the other antenna while I was pinning. I had to learn how to relax my hands so that I can move gently. Now, look at what I captured in my camera. Presenting to you, the Oscillated Shield Bug. When I got to see them in the macro scale, there's so much wonderful details that I've never seen before. Firstly, I really love his dark spotted crimson back. Together with his emerald legs and face, he's like an emerald bug in a red suit. Did you also notice? the red jewels in his forehead and he has wings too look at him soar that's when I got curious what would other insects look like? take a look at what I found When I first started doing this, I was very bothered. To make a specimen, I would have to unalive a bug. But I feel such a strong desire to see and document them in the macro world. So I hope to perfect my craft in immortalizing them into meaningful videos where everyone can see and learn about them. such a joy and a privilege for me to share this with you. I have upcoming videos where I'll be diving deeper into what makes these bugs so unique. So I invite you to subscribe and join me in this learning journey. I'll see you there.